What is going on YouTube? I am Lamont at Large. Today I am walking down Lake Street here in Rochester, New York and behind me is the Kodak Company. I'm here to show you the final resting place of George Eastman. Uh, he was the man who helped bring the camera into the homes of millions and millions of people all over the world. The invention of the camera has totally revolutionized us as a society. How would you know what an armadillo is if I explained it to you without taking a picture and showing you? You could trace back the idea of the camera from as early as the 4th century BC with a Chinese philosopher by the name of Mosey. You could fast forward to the 11th century and a Middle Eastern man by the name of Ibn al-Haytham who was a, a author and wrote a great deal of uh, books about the subject of optics and you can go even further to 1826 the French inventor Joseph Niepce he is the man that actually took the very first photograph known to man and of course through the years after that the invention has been uh, perfected if you look back at old photographs from the 1850s to the 1860s you'll notice one thing and as nobody smiled back in those days uh, you won't see a picture of anybody really smiling and that's because back in those days a picture took a very long time to take you would have to sit there for upwards of even 15 minutes just to take your picture so you're not going to want to be holding a smile for that long so you're going to be agitated uh, and annoyed you couple that also with the fact that i guess back in those days our, our teeth weren't the best so it wasn't really a thing to smile it was very very expensive to get your picture taken it was really only for the uh, elites and for the rich uh, you had to be a pretty important person to get your picture taken back in those days but in 1888 george eastman made the camera smaller more quicker to take a picture and more affordable to the average everyday working class citizen back in those days a camera when it first came out was $25 I believe it would come with 100 exposures you would take pictures and then you would send the camera into Kodak and they would develop the pictures and send it back to you you take the pictures and we'll handle the rest that's probably not what their actual saying is but I think it was something along those lines and I could go in depth about the history of the camera but of course as you can see this is a very loud street a lot of motorcycles running up and down here and that's going to be quite impossible i don't do videos sitting in my van but i just wanted to show you really quickly a man that you know a lot of people have probably forgotten throughout the ages and that is of course uh george eastman who invented the camera as how we know it today now, really quickly, I'll show you his plaque right here. George Eastman, 1854 to 1932. And this is his grave. His ashes are interred under that memorial right there. Uh, it is quite amazing to say the least how this man has had such an impact on our everyday lives if it wasn't for this man and his invention or at least bringing the the invention of the camera into our homes i mean what would we do and he actually died a very tragic way he killed himself uh he shot himself i believe in march of 1934 i believe he was 77 years old and you know, he basically said, you know, my time is done here. Why exist? Uh, probably a man that uh, suffered with some form of depression. After his mom died, uh, his closest friends and family would say that he was never quite the same person after she passed. And uh, maybe he just felt as, you know, uh, being an older man and, um, you know, time is kind of passing you by. Uh, maybe he just... He just decided to just go ahead and uh, tragically uh, take his life. Uh, 
coincidentally enough, a, a fun fact about this place. First of all, the security here is relatively tight. And a story came out a few years back that this place actually, uh, at one point in time, uh, back in the day, handled enriched uranium. And of course, enriched uranium is what you need to make uh, an atomic bomb. Now, not getting into the boring aspects of that story, I, f I personally found it fascinating. They only had about three and a half pounds of uranium on hand. Now, you need 45 pounds to make a crude bomb, but three and a half pounds in the hands of the wrong person would do uh, fit in a suitcase and do immense damage uh, to anywhere where it was um, uh, left and, and, you know, blown up, I guess. So anyways, uh, rest in peace to George Eastman, a, a very fascinating man, a, a, a part of the absolutely fascinating history of the invention of the camera. I, I would tell anybody out there, uh, if you want to kill 15 minutes, uh, go ahead and just uh, look up the, uh, the history of the camera. It's quite fascinating to say the least. All right, guys, Lamont at large. I'll catch up with you later. Peace out.